What is going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper Day back again with the HP Pavilion. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe as always. We are on Dying Light 2. Once again in this video we're gonna show I'm gonna be showing you the best settings for Dying Light 2. So first of all, of course, for your graphic settings, you're gonna want to go down over to uh, video or options first, and then you'll go to video. Now with video here, uh, it's pretty much at the top. Uh, same for uh, if you're you know playing piece on uh, PC um, using obviously the keyboard and mouse, you're just gonna click over on the top right there where it says custom low quality. If you're playing you know controller, it'll say right trigger, left trigger. Anyways, it will be saying low quality, uh, medium quality, and then high quality. Now, you can play on all these quality settings on the laptop. They will be able to handle it, but on the highest setting, you're only going to get about 30 FPS, and on medium setting, it is going to kind of bog down your FPS down to the 40 range. That being said, play on low quality and turn V-Sync, vertical synchronization, synchronization on. Turn that on, and V-Sync will be turned on. Now, a lot of people don't like turning V-Sync on because they want more frames, more frames are not all that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. I know a lot of people stress over that. It's it's really not. As long as you're getting a constant 60 FPS, you are completely good. I assure you. The biggest thing, if you really want to see a big visual effect, because a lot of people are all big on visuals, I would completely 100% uh, steer you in the direction of getting a higher hertz monitor, an external monitor to be exact, with something like 120 F, uh, 20 hertz, something like that. That will definitely give you a uh, better visual and it look 10 times better. That being said, these are the best settings that you can use on the HP Pavilion uh, for Dying Light 2. It will give you exactly 60 FPS pretty much. Uh, it'll dip down into the 50-55 range. Nothing really lower than 51-52 uh, uh, FPS, give or take, when you're moving around the city. And this is in the city, of course, as well. And, of course, you want low quality on. This will give you the best uh, overall experience on Dying Light, tie, uh, Dying Light 2, and it will play the uh, smoothest on the HP Pavilion here. That being said, you guys may notice my temps are down. I am on charger, but here's the thing. I did undervolt the laptop. So the temperatures are probably, you're probably, if you're seeing right there, I did turn it back on. They are down a lot more um, from what they were. A lot of people used to say, oh my God, 90, that's horrible. I assure you the 90 was completely fine. I was just playing on charger like I am now. I'm playing on charger as well in the moment, but I did undervolt the laptop. So now my temperatures of my CPU are down a lot lower. I will be doing a video on how to undervolt the laptop. It, de it, it basically the undervolt can, if it works and it, it doesn't crash your PC because it can crash the laptop. If everything goes smoothly and you do it correctly, you can get lower temps on your CPU. It will lower the system uh, CPU uh, the um, temperatures on that, and it will give you somewhat of a better performance of the uh, whole system overall. That being said, guys. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe as always. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, this is HP Pavilion, Dying Light 2, best settings, uh, low quality, uh, and Vertal uh, and V-Sync turned on. You can turn V-Sync off and you can get a little bit more FPS here and there from what you're seeing right now. I did turn it off just to show you guys. But for the most part, you're going to want to keep V-Sync on. It will give you the best overall gameplay of Dying Light 2 on the pav pavilion here. Again, guys, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. This can't be right. Yeah. <laughs>